Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, if you happen to just find my videos, I highly recommend at least scrolling down through my uploads. Oh, oh, can't grab my mic cord. Let it go, let go. Um, where was I? I'm sorry for the cat interruption. Uh, yeah, at least scroll, scroll through, back through, um, like the titles of my videos and how far or like how long ago I uploaded them because in my Final Fantasy XV A&E series I try to um, film the information and upload it within a day or two of it happening so the, <clears throat> the easiest way to know when abouts these things are going to happen is to watch my whole series, um, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell. As soon as you, as soon as I upload, you will be notified and, sorry, <clears throat> cat interruption number two. And he's going to be crunching food right here, so <laughs> you may or may not hear that. Yeah, so then when you know I upload a new one, watch the video and you'll know about when these things are going to happen for you. However, one of the things I'm going to be covering today, the Moogle market, from what I've heard throughout my server is that somehow or for some reason we ended up getting the Moogle market later than some of the other ones, some of the other realms. So we have the traveling merchant here. And I'm struggling with the tokens. I don't understand it. I bought 240 tokens in my last pack, which I'm going to explain why I spent more money. But I don't know. It was never acting like I had any tokens, and now I'm fighting back and forth through support over it. Um, but if you could explain that, like why is it that I couldn't get those items from the traveling merchant? And I ended up buying a pack the day before the Moogle market came out. So on Friday... Um, we had Iris released, um, a new hero, Iris, and I really wanted to name her Iris Allen West, you know, from The Flash, but all of those names and all forms of those names were already taken, so thanks, guys. You suck. She was a great great purchase and I okay I, I want y'all to really listen to what I'm about to say <clears throat> it has been approximately three months since I have made a purchase on this game I the last time I made a purchase very shortly after that and anytime I buy packs I always wait until it's a discount pack I rarely ever even spend twenty dollars at a time and I only buy the five dollar packs now let me tell you how I do that. The last couple times that I've done that, they ended up releasing something new very shortly after, and then I did not get the discount pack for the new item. Now, in between then and now, I believe um, Carryover MP and things like that is what I purchased last time, Hero Medals, um, etc. And this time... On, or on Friday, I purchased, well, okay, so the thing is, is I was already planning to purchase a Cindy unlock. I really wanted Cindy. I needed her. I couldn't send traps, this and that. However, I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and turns out that's the best way to do it. So I know I've said this before many times, waiting is the best trick, the best hack, the best possible way to play this game if you all are buying the new stuff as soon as it comes out you're not playing the game right some of these things are crucial and vital to not needing to bubble and being able to defend yourself but a lot of them aren't and you'll be fine whether you buy it right then or if you wait a week a, a week or two weeks and maybe possibly end up getting it for free if not you will be able to get it for a lot cheaper so Friday, we had, 
Now, again, remember, I was already planning to make this purchase. I was already planning a $5 purchase so I could unlock the Cindy. It needed 100 Moogle tokens, and it was inside of the items, um, like an extra treasure that you can get if you purchase or uh, mine. The criteria was purchase 100 Moogle tokens, right? So I purchased that, but the thing is, the last month or so, a lot of people were getting offered instant level 80 packs. I was never offered the instant level 80 pack. I never had access to it at all. I'm sure I could have searched for it and paid $100 for it, but they never offered it to me for, for $4.99 like they did a lot of other people. One of them is Immortal, our guild leader. Sorry, I'm about to throw shade at you, but <clears throat> I want people to learn from your mistake. Don't kick me. Love you. So, his problem was he bought the instant level 80 pack. And so now, when Iris came out, he did not get offered the $5 Iris unlock. And he was beyond furious. And um, a, a few other of my guild members had the same issue. They were not being offered an Iris unlock for $5. I, however, did. So, not only did I get the Cindy that I wanted... But I also got Iris unlocked, some medals for her, carryover MP, and she was instantly level 200, and I got 60% off lifetime hero medal requirement for her. So all of that I got for $5. Once Iris came out, and like I said, let me show you her skills, um, my troop capacity was at 40 million. That was my troop capacity. And now my troop capacity is at 130 million. Also, on a side note, her hero skills have a bit of a glitch problem. Oh, excuse me. So I'm going to try to get it to show up, but it's not me. I can't help it. When I click it, it just doesn't show up. But these are her mastery skills here. Um... She has a triple MP. How is 200% triple? Wouldn't that be double? I don't know math or math things or percentages or anything like that. So let me know on that. Why is that? Why is it say triple hero MP, but it's 200%? Wouldn't it need to be 300%? I don't know, maybe it, maybe it's just me. <laughs> Elemental nullification, the max is 50%. Um, decreases fire, ice, lightning, and earth attack against your normal core troops, warrior, mage, calf. It did not list siege engine in that. Increases your embassy attack and HP. The max is 2 million percent. Essence Well Production, max 1,200%. Your hospital capacity. Matter of fact, I'm going to... Uh, yeah. So. Oh, this is the troop capacity and the hospital capacity. So I just went ahead and maxed it out. So now my troop capacity is 120. And that is added with whatever your troop capacity was prior to you getting Iris. So if you're troop capacity is 30 million and then you max out that skill you will be have you will be having a capacity of 150 million that's a lot of freaking troops i can't i haven't even trained i've only trained about half of my max well now not even half since i just increased it more and I will definitely be doing an update video once I finish doing all my work with all the new stuff I have. Let you all know my power level, how much it increased by, things like that. Um, limit break, which is the Moogle Charm Accessory Enchantment in the Arcanium, which provides 24-hour HP or city defense HP. And then there are all of these, so it, it increases... <clears throat> the health of warriors, mage, calves with Noctis in combat, and they do different things. So 
increases siege attack against warriors, mage, and calves with I Ignis in combat. The max is 4 million percent. So it has all of those specific ones. And what was I about to show you? Oh yeah, the um, enchantment because this is the this is the big thing. This is the kicker. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of going quick. I just don't want this to be a very long video because you guys don't seem to watch all of them. Um, let's just go ahead and click enchant gear. Let me just click on whatever thing. Oh, I think it needs to be a weapon. I believe no, it's the Moogle. Where is it? And here is the City Defense HP bonus enchantment. It lasts for two hours and it is 30.4 million percent City Defense. So, <clears throat> Last night um, and currently right now until 8 p.m., we have a bloodbath event going on in the neutral realm. So say you want to go over there and you want to tear some empires up. You want to start a few bonfires. Well, having this makes it to where it is extremely impossible for anyone to burn you during those two hours. So... Is Iris worth $5? Yes. I say yes, she is. I think, honestly, if you could get Cindy or Iris, I honestly would get Iris. Um, if you could get Luna or Iris, I would get Iris. I, I think I would purchase Iris over anybody except for Arena because of her mercenary boosts. So, speaking of that, so, yes, those are all the Iris things. If you feel like it's worth it to purchase, you go ahead and do that. I will not judge you. Do I think that MZ deserves money? No. But do I keep playing this game? Yes. And so do lots of lots of people. So, if you want to, you know, judge somebody, why aren't you in the courtroom? You feel me? You picking up what I'm putting down? Anyways, currently we now have the Moogle Market, and fortunately we did not have to purchase the building. It came in a Luna gift that lasts for 366 days, so you will have the opportunity to unlock this building for free, and when you get the Moogle Market, you should get an event um, where you have to attack these specific type of monsters. Now, back, I, I want to go back to Iris because all of these things came in order. I'm not sure what order they'll come for you. But we got Iris unlocked. We had a level up Iris event that required to level her up, one. But you could also engage monsters using Iris. When I bought her at level 200, she had a, approximately 15 million hero XP. Right now... I think on that level up Iris event, I used way too much hero MP. I really wish I would have saved it for the next day. Okay, so do your level up Iris event. Don't worry about the leaderboard prizes for that because right after that, you should be getting the Moogle Market. Unless you get this first, then this is irrelevant. If you get the Moogle Market and the Bulet, um monster event prior to Iris and her level up event, don't worry about it. But if you're limited on MP, don't use it all on the Level Up Iris event and save some of it for the Bulette Monster event because that one will have some decent leaderboard prizes and that is where you can earn the free Moogle tokens to spend in here. And this is when the free-to-play people are really going to be going in. This is when my free-to-play fans are really going to be growing, okay? I have leveled up my heroes tremendously and I still have... 47,000 Moogle tokens. I have not tested to see if any monsters drop them yet. If, if I happen to find that, then I will go ahead and update and, and make another video based on that. But this is where it is. This is what it is. This is where you get y'all's free stuffs. 
take advantage. Highly. Take high advantage, if that's how you say it. Okay. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys her regular skills. Um, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and I will get them to work. And as soon as I do, I will make another video showing her regular skills and where I placed my AP points. Um, I, I'm sure I for forgot a couple things. So uh, for my <clears throat> loyal viewers, any information you have for my for my other viewers, please leave those in the comments section. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your guildmates, your realm, in your, in your line chat or your discord chat, whatever you guys use to communicate outside of the game. It will really help me out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!